So today, I'm doing a leg workout. It's not just any leg workout. We're doing Chris Bumstead's hamstring workout. Ooh, big, big name. Honestly, it's just for my clickbait YouTube title, so I can throw his name in the video. But we're gonna do his workout. Of course, he's got tons of video online of his workouts. I have a leg day, I wanna do a hamstring workout, so I'm just gonna do one of his. So starting with some RDLs. He didn't start with RDLs, but I'm starting with them because I want to. I already warmed up, I'm not quite as strong as him. He did four plates. I'm gonna try three. That was heavy, and it was beltless. It felt pretty good though. I think I did a pretty good job warming up, because it felt good. I'm gonna do three sets of that. Three heavy sets of 10. You know, at some point you gotta understand, like, there's only so many exercises that are out there until you just start coming up with a bunch of bullshit. Coming up with exercises just to like come up with exercises. So even though I am doing Chris Bumstead's leg, hamstring workout, whatever. You know, if I was to do a hamstring workout, It'd be the same shit. Leg curls, RDLs. Hip hinges, leg curls. That's the only way to use your fucking hamstring. Threw a little bit of calves in there at the end, so I'm gonna hit some calves too, but it's simple, man. You gotta do the most basic things and the little things right, man. Gonna run set two. I hope my form is decent. I won't know until I edit this video, but the heavier you get with RDLs, the more you start to overcompensate a bit, so. Well, uh, we'll see how this goes. Don't know what to do with myself these days. Fuck that, man. I got one more set of that. I don't know how the motherfucker is doing four plates. Man's a demon. These straps feel like I'm about to rip my fucking arm off, too. I don't know if you can. And the lighting's kind of off. A little bit. I'm really trying to brace when I do this, too. Not so much, but laterally. Kind of get this. Oh, this last set is mental, man. Straight mental. Here we go. Set's got sloppy there at the end. I feel like I moved 315. Pretty good for the most part today. So that'll be it for RDL. So now I'm gonna do some of those. I'm gonna do some of those glute ham raises. We have a machine right there, but same one that he used. But it's a little broken right now, so I have my I have my own setup right here. Here I'll show you. I just have my knees on this pad, and I have a band. That just helps me. This will help me on my way down, because it's a little tough. I just pin my feet under this rack. The thing that I just don't like about this version is 
sometimes I do cramp on my calf because I'm pushing against the back of this versus the machine version or the glue ham raise. Your legs are like locked in, so you don't have to like push as much, but. You know, one thing I will say about his workout, which is a little bit different than mine, typically don't do like, do as much volume as like most bodybuilders. A lot of bodybuilders do a lot of volume, which there's nothing wrong with. It's just, I just, I don't really like, that's not my favorite way to train. I don't really care about the burn, you know. That's not a lot of that stuff doesn't matter to me. I train a little bit different than like a typical bodybuilder. I would definitely say like somewhere between like powerlifter and bodybuilder. Not all the way to a powerlifter side, not all the way to a bodybuilder. Kind of in the middle. There's a lot of exercise in this workout. So I'm just gonna do three sets for everything. Make it easier on me. I think I need a little bit lighter of a band. This is like the best I can do. But I can't do it without the band and I can't. We don't have a lighter one, so. Of that. I'm gonna do some kickbacks now. We don't have like a, a machine that he was using in the video. I'm just gonna use a, a free weight kickback. You know, I think a lot of people think stuff like this is girly, but especially when you're bodybuilding, man, like don't neglect any part of your body, even if you think it's girly. Glute kickbacks definitely aren't the manliest thing. Gotta hit the bootay. Left side, this is my last set. I already did two sets, but gotta make both sides even. After all that I've done, I'm gonna try to hit 150 these seated leg curls. I'm already fucking tired. Getting towards the end of the workout here. One more exercise after these calf raises. This feels really good. This does feel really good though. Like getting a nice stretch on my calf. Normally I do calf raises. I don't normally do calf extensions like this. But it feels good. You get a nice stretch and then you push. But I just got leg curls after this, three sets. And I'm fucking done, man. I'm cashed. I'm exhausted. I really feel the stretch here and push hard. Stretch and push hard. I don't even know how many reps that was. I kind of lost count when I was talking there, but I'm gonna do, I got one more set of that. That's it, man. Like I said, nothing, it's cool that he did the workout, but if I was to make a leg workout, it would look very similar. Lifting's not that complicated. I think a lot of people overcomplicate it. It's relatively simple. If your goals are not that, Specific, it's, it's relatively simple. 
This is always the most awkward angle to try to shoot. Hard pause on that. Late night lift session, man. It's nice because nobody's in here. If I had the choice, I'd rather work out earlier. Hey man, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. If you're not subscribed, subscribe already. Stay tuned. I try to make a new video every single Friday. So, if you enjoy this, I'll see you next Friday. This is not a good time. You have a hole in your pants. If I don't, hard pause. If you got a hole in your pants on this machine, check yourself. <laughs>